Okay, so um, <clears throat> these are just some really common tools you will need to help you code. And I forget the most two common ones are the flowcharts and pseudocode. So flowcharts, I'm sure everybody know what that is, right? Yeah, you've seen it before? Yeah, just a bunch of boxes and arrow, right? Things like that. What about pseudocode? You have you heard of the term before? You know what that is? Pseudo, okay, the word pseudo means what? Fake, right, or not real. And then code is code, right? So it's fake code, um, not the real code, that's what it is. So it, it's it's more like a, a English written uh, instruction to, to code the program. You basically write what happens in the program, what should happen every step of the way to solve the problem and not actual code. Um, so the flowcharts have rules. Flowchart have some rules that you must follow, whereas pseudocode, there's no rule for that. Okay, there's no universal rules that your pseudocode must follow this syntax or this, this way or that way. None of that. You can use know, emojis if you want to, right? Sketch, um, use any language you want. You can use whatever you need to do to make something meaningful to you and your team. Okay, so uh, that's, that's pseudocode. But uh, flowchart is, yeah, has a rule. The hierarchy chart here is also kind of important if you have a really large program, like you build something like uh, Facebook, for example, right? Or even like Amazon.com uh, uh, site. You're gonna need something really, really, really uh, high level to see the big picture. And that's when you use the hierarchy chart here. Uh, we'll see if there's some examples in here. Uh, so here is a, um, again, just some definitions. I'm gonna go right into this term here, the word algorithm, okay, if you, I'm sure you heard it before as well. Algorithm is a series of instructions so solve a problem. Um, it could be as tiny as one or two lines to as many as 10, 20 lines or more code, okay? Um, a, a lot of algorithms you may hear of like searching and sorting, um, you know, finding something in a long list, like search um, in a, any other, so what is the shortest path from one point to another point if you have a lot of different routes, right? So all those are different types of algorithms that you can create. And some of these algorithms are already developed by some, you know, computer scientists. So there's no need to reinvent the wheels if it's already there um, because you know, most of these algorithms have been tested and tested again to maximize the, um, the, 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 uh, the fastest or maximize the uh, computation times already. So, uh, but again, we're not gonna focus too much on, on, on that part other than what it is and how you can design your own algorithm, okay? So here is an example of how you can write a program to determine how many stamps should you need to mail a letter? Um, so here are some rules saying that you can use one stamp for every five sheets of paper, okay? So one stamp for five sheets. If it's more than five sheets, then you should use two stamps and, and so on, right? So again, these are the problems. You have to understand what it is doing so you can write the code to make it work, okay? So, so the algorithm here you go, you need to request the number of sheets of paper, right? We call it sheets. How many sheets of paper you receive? I give you one sheet of paper. And then based on that input, how many stamps should you need? And how do you, how do you calculate how many um, uh, uh, stamps you need, right? So you do that by, if you divide the number of sheets by five, then you get the number of stamps. For every five sheets, you get one stamp. So, you know, one divided by five, you have less than um, five, so you still need one stamp, right? <clears throat> and just say, you know, round up to the next highest number and, and so on. So this is the processing part, two and three. And then once you do the processing part, and then you got your answer, and then you would output the number, you need how many stamps, and that's the output. So again, back to the ideal thing again, right? <clears throat> 